Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at all that firepower coming down there. Yes, a nice grenade shot right to the chicklets. Hello everybody, Gray still plays and we're back with more RimWorld Tribal Edition. No time for BS. So some things are going on. Obviously, if you remember, we hit this giant Plasteel Depot over here. This is so cool. We're doing that right now. We've got an assault rifle being made by Dr. Destiny Bad Luck, although right now he's just relaxing socially. Hopefully he'll be doing that in a little bit. Silver Haired Devil, I want to get your work schedule cut out. I think I took him off Grow. Yeah, okay, good. So now mostly he's a hauler and a cleaner, which is what I want him to be doing. Marty DeWitt is our main grower right now. You can see his growing is near mastery level. I think that silver hair is pretty good as well, but mostly I think he's going to be best as like a doctor and kind of someone who can move a lot of stuff around because I want to keep our area clean and I want to make sure that all the hauling gets done too. We can probably cut down on the crops because God almighty, we have so many crops that we have right now. Dr. Destiny working on that assault rifle. I do appreciate that. Our defenses are okay. Um, to get anywhere, they have to come straight for this turret. So that's good. And to get anywhere here, they have to come through this little funnel that I made, which we're slowly kind of putting a bunch of steel slag and everything into just want to make sure there's no additional slag laying around that we can grab there's still some haulable stuff over here um it looks like there's some haulable stuff over here as well a lot of slate chunks i am moving the stone cutters blueprint and someone had mentioned that all these different tables face a certain way, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm making sure that they face away from one another so people have space. They have space that they can kind of exist in. We want to haul all these chunks over here. This room continuing to be expanded. Uh, it looks like it's remaining right around one degree, so that works out pretty good. Val over here digging at some compacted steel, which is fine. I think I'd rather have him working on these power conduits, though. I do want to get these power conduits made up because right now the issue is that everyone's working in the dark. And it gives them this negative three. And speaking of trying to figure out about some different things that we could do to help our guys out, if we go over here to Silverhair, obviously he is a very needy sort. But the other problem is his sleep is always disturbed as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to make his room and the hospital room one in the same for the first little bit. And like eventually I'll give him his own room. The other thing I've thought about doing is building him a room right like over here. Val, I'm going to take you off of, I'm going to take you off of mining for right now i want you instead to be crafting this stuff um but i don't want you to be tailoring so let's do that and let's take your tailoring off there we go so now i think oh maybe it's construction that's what i need for val i need a one for construction a tailor will be at a two a mining will be added to there we go that should that should do various things yeah see here we go now he's going to start building all these conduits and such and that's going to be important while we're doing that let's go grab some more furniture we'll put down a nice lamp for these poor people so they can have a lamp we'll put this lamp like kind of as far away as it gets so it can get some good range some good distance and can we put a lamp over here as well we can put a lamp right over here, and I think that'll be a good place for a lamp as well. All right, excellent. Yes, good. So Val starting to work on the rest of this room to get this room done. That's going to be very important. Everyone's pretty much working on stuff like they should be now. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something. I know I talked about this before, but it's so funny. So they make these sculptures, right? And every once in a while, if they're good enough, they'll have like these little, these little sayings on them. So... Uh, Tosca Penguin made this. It's called Utopia by Val. This piece bears an illustration of a startle- of a startling 
in the formal suit of a gardener, a gardener. A leopard is shown near the edge of the image and the image seems to express hunger. It's just funny how like these various little things here. Here's another one we have. We got a granite sculpture. This one's called Suffering with Turkey. <laughs> this carving is shaped like a turkey kneeling. Hands over its head, trying to extinguish flames on its body while others look on. A symbolic halo of fire surrounds his face. There's a ram to the right of the main scene. While the image- Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Oh man, we got a raid right in the middle of looking at artwork! Damn it! There is a ram to the right of the main scene. While this image is somehow expresses both strife and community. This depiction relates to the turkey catching on fire of the 6th of winter, 5499. All right, what's going on over here? A hive of mechanoids on a drop pod. Oh crap, really mechanoids? Oh boy, all right. So which way are these guys gonna come into the base? Where even is my base? They're on the other side of the map, all right. So, they drop potted... Crap, how do I lose this stuff so easy, guys? Jesus. They drop potted over here. Okay, so... I think they're gonna come down this way? Let's go ahead and watch. Whoa! We've got a scyther and two centipedes? What are you attacking? Oh, he's attacking our muffalo calves! You dirty bastard! Alright, let's get all these animals home. Uh, okay, we need to start moving everyone into position. Val- oh god. Val is probably pretty tired. Val, I need you up here. Dr. Destiny. I need you over here. Indy Sage. Man, I hate to take you away from your sleep. Everyone's getting recruited. Marty. You're actually going to have to sit this one out. I don't have a weapon for you. Hold on. Let me see if Marty is any good with melee. He is pretty good with melee. Ooh, hold on here. What kind of clubs do we have sitting around? We've got a marble club. We've got... I guess he's gonna have to use this marble club, and we've got a granite club that's in crap condition. All right, Marty. You're gonna be our meleeer. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. Animals, animals, guys, start moving into the home area for real. Everyone start moving into the home. Oh, this is considered a home area. Ooh. Uh, okay. We're gonna need to make a new area then. Hold on, hold on here, guys. We are going to need to make a new area. Uh, let's see. We're going to call... What? How do I want to do this? Oh, I know what we'll do. We'll go to... Where is it, damn it? There we go. Manage areas. We want a new animal area. Uh, we're going to call this... We're going to call this... Animal... Si we're going to call this the safe zone there so that way we'll know to put our animals there um and then this area let's go over here let's go here and then safe zone and that's gonna be in this area way back in the back here yeah there we are that's what that's gonna be so let's go back to our animals and put them all inside of the safe zone. I want all these guys inside the safe zone so those charge rifles aren't firing at them. Little baby muffalo, move your move your little butt. Where's that? Where's that scyther at? I know there's a scyther somewhere. There he is. He's kind of hanging back. All right, good. He's watching for targets. These guys are going to be attacking our door. Attacking granite door. Oh, probably way in here. I've got it. Okay. Oh boy, guys. This is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be interesting. 
Um, oh boy. Uh, can I move any more of this crap around? I don't think so. All right. Indy Sage moving down over here, taking up a nice position with his pump action shotgun. Very good. And then, I, I don't know if we're going to survive this, guys. I'm not kidding. Like, this is actually pretty scary. Barrow. What do I want you to do? Actually, stay up there. Marty, you're drafted. You're going to be over here. Oh boy, alright. They're coming. They got charge rifles and all kinds of crazy ass crap. Oh boy, this is gonna be a firefight, boys. I wonder if I can deconstruct their pod. <laughs> oh man, alright. Here we go. We got the Scyther coming in. Everyone should be watching for targets. Excellent. I probably should have put a trap over there. There we go. Fire. Excellent. And a nut. There we go. Got some good fire incoming there. Val. You can't hit this target. Um, okay. Val, move over here. Excellent. Nice. Uh, okay. Scyther down. Scyther down. Good, 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 good. Muffalo, what are you doing, man? Oh, it's because you're an attack, Muffalo. I got it. Okay. Um, can I move you somewhere? Because, like, I really don't want you here. <laughs> I, I hate to say it, but you're gonna get in the way. Um, nope. You're just gonna protect your master. All right. Well, that's fine, I guess. Uh, Silverhaired Devil. Where are you at, man? Go ahead and... Oh, there's no empty grave. Well, I don't want to bury it. I want to rip it apart. That's what I want to do. I want to go over here. And I want to rip this thing apart. Does this thing have no bills we can do? I guess not. I thought every once in a while there's bills. But that may only be if you disable it. So, alright. Not going to worry about that. Next. Next up. We've got some centipedes incoming. Okay, this muffalo is going to get in the way. Uh. Jesus. This is <laughs> buy you for real, man. Who owns you? I can't have you sitting here like this, man. I, I Oh god. Uh training is Marty DeWitt. Okay. Well, I don't want him to release him. Marty, move down here. Maybe your damn muffalo will follow. There we go. Yes. Let's keep this muffalo right about here. Yeah, right about here. That should be good. All right. All right, boys, centipedes are, centipedes, centipedes are incoming. We're going to have to deal with them in just a little moment here. Now, if I go over to power, I'm wondering if this kind of area that we've blown up has disabled all of our energy. It doesn't look like it has, so that's good. I didn't know if throwing like grenades at places would have an issue with that area. All right, boys. Now, these centipedes are pretty damn tough. So we're going to need to do quite a bit of damage. There we go. Multiple targets incoming. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at all that firepower coming down there. Yes, a nice grenade shot right to the chicklets. Well done. Well done, boys. Oh, boy. There goes that charge rifle again. We've got... How we doing here? How we doing on these centipedes? It's still got a charge rifle going on. We've got quite a bit of damage on these guys, though. Nice. Yeah, keep those, keep those frag grenades going down range. Yes. Excellent. We got one down. Everyone, I want everyone targeting this centipede. This centipede. Oh, crap. I don't want you moving. I want you targeting this centipede. Right here. Yes. Nice. Excellent. Throw those grenades down range. Oh, this is working out fantastic. Whoa! More shots coming down. These walls were such a good idea. Nice. Okay, everyone's down. Now. Undraft everyone. Excellent. And now we can go ahead and... Let's see here. 
If we go over to health, I'm pretty sure we can deactivate this. Yep, let's deactivate that. And let's deactivate this guy as well. Everyone, excellent job. Excellent job. Modify this guy over here. I want these guys turned off like real fast. I do not want them getting in the way. Wow, guys. I cannot believe that we ended up winning that firefight. I kind of thought that with all those mechanoids, we'd be having a real tough time. We'd be having a real tough time. Oh, hi, suited hound. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Um, I thought that we were going to have a really tough time. All right. So we're going to want to disable these things. To do that, we need the repair skill. Who has the highest repair skill out of everyone? Uh, Barrow. Super high repair skill. Excellent. So we're going to want you doing your thing. Everyone else. Oh, the animals. We can bring the animals out now. Uh, yeah, let's go and bring everyone back to animal area one. Except for you, Jagged. You have unrestricted areas that you can work in. So let's do that. Barrow. What I want you to do is I want you to work at this machining table. There we go. Get that assault rifle out of the way. And start working on disabling. There we go. Excellent. Yes. Disassemble those mechanoids. I think each of these mechanoids end up giving us... Um, let me think about this for a second. I think it ends up giving us... Hmm. Is it components? Yeah, I think it's I think it's components and like straight up steel that we can use. Then you can see all these steel slag chunks are a little bit like beat up. But that's fine. I'm not really worried about that. Let me get that off of there. Tasca just created a brand new sculpture. I'm very curious to see how that sculpture is. Oh, do mechanoids go bad after a day or so? No, it just says Less than a day, so I guess I'm not very worried about it. Tasca, this brand new product here, what did you make for us, man? It is called the Purple Lullaby. It says this sculpture bears an, bears an illustration of a caribou in the shirt of an old man. If you squint your eyes, the rectangular composition of the image reveals the outline of a goldfish. The image is totally devoid of both desire and struggle. These things are the funniest. I love these things. These things are freaking hilarious. I'm really having a good time with these. Barrow. Uh, nice. We got... Oh, we got plasteel and we got components. Excellent. And then Barrow has something in her hands there. I'm not really sure what she had. Go ahead and eat that corn. And disassemble this other mechanoid. Oh, he's... He's hauling it to a stockpile. Uh... Barrow, keep working at this machining table. I know it's getting kind of late right now, but I do want to get this done. So, Silverhaired Devil, what are you doing? You're just kind of resting. And that's fine. Dr. Destiny, bad luck. We'll be working on that all in due time. So, yeah, I wanted to make you a room, Silverhair, but we ended up having to fight for our lives for quite a while. Let's go ahead and fast forward things along here. And there we go. Now. Now. Oh, yeah. And you get 80 steel, too. Wow, that's really nice. Okay, cool. So now Barrow should be able to get some sleep. And we have four components over here. And 100 plasteel just sitting around. That is awesome. So we're going to be able to use that plasteel for something, I'm sure, in the immediate future. Um, how's everything working on the indoors and outdoors? Okay, not too, not too bad. Um, we don't have these finished up yet though, and I kind of know why. That's just because everyone was fighting for their lives and we didn't have a lot of time to construct everything. The inside of this area is pretty nice though. It's about 60 something degrees everywhere. In here it's a little cooler. Just because of how big the area is. But I'm not like too, too worried about it. Val, what are you going to be doing over here? Oh, you're meditating. All right. That's fine. Dr. Destiny is relaxing socially, and I do want him to do that. 
But after you're done relaxing, Dr. Destiny, I would love it if you'd continue on that rifle. Yeah, because I want at least one more person armed. Oh, I need to repair all these walls big time, too. I just thought about that. Um, yeah, go ahead and repair this wall over here. Everyone else should be doing something. Let's see here. Digging at compacted steel. I mean, I appreciate you digging at the steel and stuff, but go ahead and repair this. And we're going to want to finish up these walls over here as well. Let's go over to our structures. And continue to make granite walls to box people in like this here. That is very good. Marty, where are you going, man? Oh, you're harvesting granite plants. Um, work on this wall for right now. Let's get all this done. The reason why is just because we may have a lot of issues if we don't get this done. Fix that all up there. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Is all this doing looking pretty good? So all these walls are fine? Val, what are you doing? Oh, you're building the wall. Alright, very good. After you're done building that wall, how about you go ahead and repair this. And then I'm probably going to have you repair this one as well when you're done. There we go. And we've got some injuries on these walls up in here as well. So how about work on this wall? And then you can go do your thing. I know I think you're building walls and stuff. There we go. We've got a whole room built up in here. Excellent. Looking good. Looking good. Got a lot of stuff left to do over here. Yes, these lights are on. That means that she should not get the working in darkness anymore. Excellent. It's just a hideous environment though because it's so damn dirty. Oh, it looks disgusting. <laughs> Silverhaired Devil, let us, right now you're like a main hauler and a main cleaner. Let's make your hauling a two. You're not really going to be doing any crafting or anything for a while. I've got my crafters set up. So we'll just put this at like a four. There we go. Just because I want you kind of cleaning the area after you're done relaxing. There, yes. Nice. Man, I'm starting to learn these priorities. Which is so important. Yes, build up that roof right there. This is going to be excellent. We need one more medicine until we can have a hospital bed, though. Um, but now we have 17. We have 17 components. And we have a just a balls ton of steel, which is really good. Plus, our next research thing is kind of working right along here. So that's good. How's all our muffalos doing? Everyone looks just fine. Man, we have a crap ton of cloth. So in retrospect, I probably made these crops way too big. Like we have so much food that there's no way that we're going to need all this food. And I may actually clear some of these farm areas down. Let's do that. I'm going to get rid of some of these farmed areas because... I wonder if I can click on this area, like this area here, and just get rid of it. We, we're not going to need this whole area. There we go. Um, I'm going to delete this area. So that area is going to be gone. We'll get rid of one of those. I'm going to get rid of one of our corn areas. What do I want to get rid of corn-wise? Um... Actually, you know what? I'm going to just get rid of this little corn area right here, if I can click on it. I'm going to get rid of this little corn area, but I'm going to keep the rest of this right now, just because as we get more and more colonists, we may need more and more food. You know what I mean? How are our batteries doing? Oh, that reminds me too. I need to look at how the power is. Yeah, see, like right here, we blew up these power conduits. So we're not getting any energy to uh, to our area. Um, so right now, kind of the energy is just working off of these, these turbines and then also this solar energy panel, which is fine, but we're definitely going to need to get these all fixed up. Once Val wakes up, I'm hoping he'll have a good time, just kind of relax a little bit, and then hopefully we'll get him repairing all this crap Something to consider is next time, probably after I blow all this out, I'm going to build around this. There we go. So now if we go to power, we should be fully powered. Yes, that's good. See, now these batteries are going to be getting a ton of, a ton of energy. Val, what else are you doing? You're getting something to eat. Oh, you're going to smooth all this floor in. 
That's excellent. Yeah, smooth that floor. Well done. Well done. Dr. Destiny. Almost done with that. Very good. I've got no one working on the electronic bench right now because we really don't need it. Um, I guess I'll add a bill here to make stone blocks and we'll do this forever. Just so that if someone's not doing anything, they'll continue to kind of work on that. Marty, you have got to be a hell of a farmer by now. What's your farming look like? 16. All right. So it is getting there pretty good. And then Val, this right here, is this working your construction or what is this working? This is working construction. Oh, Barrow's helping you. So if we go over here to beauty, we can see that the smooth tiles give a three to construction. That's pretty cool. Or a three to beauty, I should say. So that's really, really sweet. Silver haired devil cleaning up our areas as he often does. Which is very useful. Especially if he would clean up kind of this area over here. Because this area looks like crap. How much more time until we're done with this? Uh, five days. So five more days. We'll get that all set up. And probably after they get done smoothing this floor here. I will get... Uh, silver haired devil down here and that'll be his room for at least a little bit So yeah, things are going great guys Our research is almost done on these mortars, which are really gonna help when we start getting attacked Tosca has made several statues and we're gonna make sure to get those sold When the time comes hopefully we get another trader coming in pretty soon we've got this whole area kind of lit up so everyone could continue working in here. We've got a ton of plasteel, which is so good. And we have kind of this little, like, this little area that we've made that choke points people as they come in. And man, it has worked perfectly. Because we do have a couple of grenades and stuff. And those grenades work really well for just blowing the crap out of any opponents. <laughs> Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys are enjoying RimWorld. Keep the, oh yeah, Tosca and Andy Sage. Get that love on. Any kind of additional things that you guys can think of, feel free to let me know anything that you'd like to see our colony do. Until the next time, though, stay foxy and much love.